Hello, I'm a student and steward of the Mysteries of Christ, and this is the YB Merely Human video blog. My name is Ryan McKeel, and this morning I'm talking about pleasure. So let's uh, take a look at Titus 3.3, which says, For we ourselves were also once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. The specific part I want to talk about is serving various lusts and pleasures. So we all know that there are lusts and pleasures out there that are not good for us. Every day I come home from work I see a business actually called Pleasures and it's an adult DVD store um, that serves up, you can guess what, um, by DVD. So that's worldly pleasure and it's tempting to think that that is pleasure that we can never have, that um, we should avoid. And, and indeed, in a worldly sense, we should avoid that. But what we need to realize is that the Lord has pleasure for us also, and that His pleasure is guilt-free. His pleasure is good and abundant. Uh, Jesus said, I came that you may have life and life abundant. And so let's read about that pleasure that the Lord offers take a look at uh, 2 Corinthians 12 with me here. It says, this is where Paul um, had a thorn in the flesh um, from Satan. And it's uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. This is the Lord talking to Paul. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. <clears throat> Therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Now, Paul's using the word pleasure here, pleasure in infirmities. How can that possibly happen? Well, it's because the Lord's strength is made perfect in weakness. So when we are weak, he is strong. That's a promise. And that's the pleasure that we can enjoy. This is the pleasure that the church in Acts talked about when they said, you know, we were imprisoned, but then we were so much more joyful because we realized that we could glory in the fact that we identified with Christ in his sufferings. And so it's crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy thought for the natural man, the the earth suit, as uh, as some in the Bible called it. It's it's a weird thing to take pleasure in infirmities, but we can do it. And not only that, there's pleasure in other things. So I have a family, uh, have a wife of four years, three kids, uh, and I take pleasure in them. I I love to play with my kids. Uh, they are they're beautiful and it reminds me of the proverbs that talk about in a righteous man's ho home there is uh, beauty and the glory of God and and I see it every day um, in between the diapers and and uh, telling them not to eat certain things and not to poke certain people's eyes there is still pleasure that I take from uh, enjoying the beauty of my kids so and the beauty of my wife. So take pleasure in what God gives because it is much more much more full of life and it doesn't have guilt attached. We know that the uh, flesh wars against the Holy Spirit and we know the Holy Spirit is in us as believers. If we've accepted Christ, um, check out Romans 10. If you haven't accepted Christ, um, it really is possible to have pleasure in the Lord. So I encourage you to seek that out this day. Thanks.